Hello everyone, my name is Yuri Gregory. I'm a software engineer at Red Hat and today I'll be presenting the Iron Prometheus exporter. This will be just a bit short compared to the presentation on the Open Infrastructure Summit last year. So let's go ahead. In the agenda for today, I will introduce a bit of the Iron Prometheus exporter, uh, present a demo and talk about adventures and limitations and open for question and answers. So, the Iron Prometheus exporter. Uh, our use case is related to hardware monitoring. Uh, when you have an infrastructure, uh, doesn't matter if it's small, bigger or huge, uh, you always want to keep an eye in how your physical nodes are doing, like the temperature, the power consumption, the usage for memory, uh, to try to figure out if something can go wrong to basically predict, or if something goes wrong, you want to know which machine has the problem, basically. Uh, in the June release of OpenStack, Iron added the support for sensor data. Uh, it was related to sensor data to be stored in Sailometer and it was only available for the IPMI hardware. And in the training release, we were able to introduce the Iron Prometheus exporter that it's basically a tool where you have a Flask application that will be able to provide the metrics that are sent by the sensor data in Iron from the nodes to uh, an Oslo message dri notifier driver that will parse these metrics to the Prometheus format and this will be available so you can connect the ARM Prometheus export application to your Prometheus server and have the metrics and define alerts for your infrastructure. Uh, the demo that I will show, it consists in a Bifrost setup that I used to have Ironic running, and it's running uh, Demo Power Edge R640. And I have two Ironic nodes, uh, Demo Power Edge using IPMI and an HP ProLiant using Redfish. And I have in my notebook a Prometheus server and Alert, uh, alert Manager running in containers. So for the demo, uh, this was pre-recorded, I used this one in, during the summit. So basically I already have the setup running and I'm listening to show that the Ironic service are running and they are enabled. Uh, the Prometheus server, it runs on port 9608. So we can see there's a Flask application already running on it. Now I'm trying to list the bare metal nodes that I have. I have two. The first one, the Dell machine that it's part on and active. And the other one that I have is the HP that is power on and in enroll state. Now I'll just confirm that each machine is using the correct type of driver. So doing a note show for the, the machine. We can see that it's using the IPMI. And for the HP, it's using Redfish driver. And now I'm going to show the configuration that needs to be set so you have the Iron Prometheus exporter configured. First, you would need to change some configuration in the conductor section for the Iron configuration file. Basically, you need to set the send sensor data set to true. And if you want to get data from undeployed nodes, it's possible also, you just need to set the send sensor date for undeployed nodes to true. And send sensor data in trivial, it will tell the amount of time that will take to collect data again from the sensor date for the, hard, the nodes you have available. So in this case, I've set to 90 seconds. Then 
The second part is in the Oslo configuration that we need to set Oslo not uh, message not fire. The notification. So we have a specific driver that we want to have enabled that it's the Prometheus exporter. Uh, transport URL needs to be set to fake. And location will tell where you want to store the data from each node that you'll be collecting. If we go to the data, we can check if there is something already available there. And you have for each node a file that contains the metrics. And after each second, you are able to update the metrics based on the sensor data that was collected. Uh, we can see that there is a difference in the amount of lines that you have in for each file. This is due to the driver that you are using for the machines because IPMI will report different type of metrics than Redfish and also based on the hardware that you are using, it can also change the amount of metrics that are enabled to be collected and exposed by IPMI or by Redfish. Uh, this is how it looks like to the file for with the metrics. First, you have a, the, a description about the metric, first line with help, and then the type. And normally, we can only have gauge. And then we have the name of the metric and the labels that are used to it to identify the unique metrics. And you can set different type of labels, basically. Uh, we are using to the instance UID, uh, the node UID, and the entity ID that we got from the IPMI and from the Redfish, basically to say, hey, this is the entity that is giving this type of metrics. And the last value in the line is the value that was collected. It's not good to look at files basically just to see the values of the metrics. So locally, since I have the Prometheus running with Alert Manager, I will try to show to you guys that we can we have an interface. Uh, we have the Alert Manager running and it's on port 1993 and the Prometheus running on 1990. So accessing in my machine, we can try to see a specific metric and filter and check how, how it's doing the time series that we have for that machine and the specific metric. And you can choose to filter from the different type of name metrics and also you can filter by the labels that you have for each metric. And basically this is how Prometheus looks like for people that are already used to it. And you can select the metrics that you want to be monitoring and have in your dashboard. And here I'm showing a different metrics barometer power status. Basically, zero, it means that it's power off, and one, it's the machine needs in power on. And also you can define alerts in Prometheus to each metric that you, you want. And this will be available in the alert manager. I'll show you in a few seconds. And we can see that, for example, clicking the alerts part for Prometheus, we have a power supply failure. failure. It, this was defined by me. And basically, we can see that for one node, we have the power such that is failing. And if we go to the alert manager, we are able to see the alerts that trigger that. 
and find all the information about the metric that gave the the alert trigger basically and i think it would be this <laughs> And there is a description about the why the alert was triggered and indicates like the expression that was used, it's bare metal power status, that is the name of the metric, different from zero. And you can see the configuration that was used to instantiate the container for the Prometheus locally. And Prometheus works based in the pool model, so we this part identifies where the where Prometheus should try to collect the data and the endpoint and the interval that it should be trying to scrap data from the specific endpoint. So by default, the Prometheus exporter runs on port nine six zero eight, and with that the presentation is over and basically talking about some adventures and limitations that we have in the uh, Prometheus exporter. Uh, it's easy to install and configure, it's vendor agnostic. The data collection is no intrusive so because you have a node deployed by Ironic so you don't need to have anything also starting the machine to be collecting and exposing the data. This will be do, done by IronKit itself and has the integration with Prometheus. Uh, some of the limitations basically is that we it only works at the moment with IPMI and Redfish driver. Uh, we don't have support for Gauche metrics. This basically means metrics that we have a single value to represent that because Prometheus also has support for histogram and different things. So for now, we only have support for Gauge metrics. And the set of metrics that you have available for each node, it will depend on the hardware type. So let's go for some questions and answers. Thanks a lot, Yuri. It's very impressive demo. Um, I have a couple of questions, unless someone else wants to go first. No? Okay, my, f my first question, uh, is the, um, the, the data center on the picture, have I ever been in that data center? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I recognize the CERN data center on, the, on slide one. Um, okay, so... Yeah, um, I took the picture during the mid-cycle that we have at CERN. <laughs> Very nice. Um, so my next question is like, if I want to extend this, say like I want to like collect something else, which parts would I need to touch? Because you said like it's basically defined by the hardware type, but what actually defines what kind of metrics are collected? So basically what I was able to identify that, for example, if you are using the IPMI for two different machines, let's say that I was using IPMI for the Dell machine and the uh, HP machine, they will probably uh, represent the metrics a bit different. So what I did when I was creating the Iron Prometheus exporter, uh, there is another Oslo notifier driver that it would only collect the payload that we have from the sensor data. And with that, I was able to try to identify the, some of the patterns that we have between the hardwares. Mm -hmm. and come up with the name of the metrics, basically. This was defined basically by me, but okay, things can change and people may not like the name of the metric and they want to change, so we would need to think on how to improve and let the mm -hmm. operator define, okay, I want to change this metric name for this one. It would be something that would be possible, I would say. Mm -hmm. uh, and what normally happens is that uh, different versions of the IPMI can maybe report in a different format, different name. Uh, and basically, okay, uh, maybe you don't have all the 
all sensors from that are using HP machines are not the same that are using the machine. So the data that is report it's different, but it will have a, like the normal value, for example, temperature, let's say. And what can happen is that if the sensor is not enabled in the machine, okay, you are not be collecting, for example, let's say the fun speed for your hardware because it's not enabled. So, okay, the sensor data from Aaron will try to get the payload from the machine using FPMI and it will report back to the Aaron Prometheus exporter and the Aaron Prometheus exporter will try, okay, these are the information that I have from the machine. So I'm going to try to parse. So if there is a no value or something that will trigger, okay, I don't have information to create a metric with this basically. But if before there was a metric, we would just try to put a value that would identify as a problem it will occur, for example. Uh, if I do remember, that is zero and one uh, to identify the power error mm -hmm. status. So if it's different from zero, uh, according to the documentation, if I do remember, it means that you have some problem in that machine. So if we couldn't collect anything and before it was having already a problem, we will, we will keep like, okay, the problem is still going on and we can't have any information about this. Uh, and for example, in red, if you're using Redfish, uh, we introduced Redfish, I think it was after training the support to collect metrics for that. So it would be in Usuri. Mm -hmm. And basically, there is the whole difference between the implementations that the vendors are doing with Redfish. Uh, so it's a bit weird when you try to collect the metrics and you start seeing, okay, it doesn't follow any type of pattern. So it's complicated when you want to <laughs> try to find the patterns for, to identify the metrics. Uh, when I was working to provide the demo, I found like some different bugs uh, related to Redfish basically, and I was able to fix that. Mm -hmm. uh, so there are some bug fixes already available in the latest release, for example, in Victoria, if I do remember. Uh, but if you have a different type of, you want to use, for example, a different driver, let's say a drive or ILO, uh, they have support for sensor data already. Uh, I didn't do any tests like trying to deploy the, the machine using iDrive driver and collect the sensor data because it has a support already in the iron code. So people can just try to collect this data uh, using the file driver for notifications. And okay, if they don't want to uh, add the support for the IP, if you can provide me the payload, basically I would be happy to introduce and mm -hmm. figure out on how to parse the payload and add the support for the okay in the IP basically. Okay. And basically there are plans for improvements in the IP. I've mentioned a lot of them in the open infrastructure some presentation that I gave. Uh, it's casting light on bare metal with the um, Prometheus exporter. It's available on YouTube already in the open infrastructure channel on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And Basically, if you have any questions related to that, uh, feel free to just send an email to the OpenSec Discuss or ask on IRC or now if you already have a question. And also, this is used by the MetaTree community. It's uh, enabled on MetaTree. And I do remember that some people were asking on how to use. And you can also try to use for virtual bare metal if you are using Redfish. Uh, because virtual using IPMI, you are not able to collect any type of metrics. Okay. Thank you. Are there more questions for Yuri? If no, thank you very much, Yuri. Thank you.